It is expo day here, and we have 45 minutes till the expo starts, and we have no banner, we have no t-shirts, we have done nothing. So we are gonna be going over to this St. George FitCon um, while trying to find a place to stay and hopefully getting banners and everything else. Hey yo. Jeez, oh, that's heavy. Just sneaky that thing. I know. No, you didn't. That's the idea. You don't even want people to know you're filming. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, we're selling these bad boys today. Come on through. Soldier Nation in that light cream color. Thank you! Wait, how do you... Oh, now the camera's on. I definitely gotta take that. <laughs> Wait, were you leaving that for me? Ah. Oh. 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 <laughs> I'm getting my butt kicked here. Uh oh. Effing shiz up. Oh, that looks super fun. Oh, I'm definitely trying that. Yeah, right. I'm trying that, man. That? That. Okay, we got here. This is probably the smallest expo I've ever done, but I'm kind of excited. My first time. Hey, that's how much I love you guys. So you can bring it down. I've never once had to set up a booth in my life. I've had to break down booths, but I've never once set up a booth. Yo. This, we gotta put we gotta put it on the vlog. First person to sign up for our gym. Yeah, this is a big moment. I, I got butterflies going on here. First sign up ever. No contracts. Just moving a lot of weights, hanging out with the vanilla gorilla. You think I was a door-to-door -door salesman, but I really suck at sailing. Were you really? I was. Doing selling what? Suck at sailing? I suck at sailing. Sa selling. Sales. I suck at sales. Um, I was a door-to-door -door salesman. I sold pest control, and I also sold security systems. calories this thing's holding me like a charm bare butt hammocks bare butt hammocks bro i started following these guys yesterday shut up i did did you yeah i saw you guys are gonna be here i'm like no way i legit <laughs> i legit am getting a hammock tried to make it look like a little rolling office so it's got the hardwood floors it's got all the wallpaper you know it's all, it's all tweaked out so we try to make it nice and easy what they do is they just lay on the table and it just takes 10 minutes and the x-ray arm goes across the body, get a comprehensive 10-page report on everything. And I've been DEXA scanned once in my life and I hated it because it was really accurate. <laughs> it's one of those things you better be prepared to be a little bit higher than if you have like a, you know, a trainer at your gym pinching with the calipers. There's no hiding in the DEXA scan. Nope. This is the most accurate way to do it. Now that I'm going to be moving back to St. George, these guys are gonna be my best friend. Aaron, you gotta get over here, man. You gotta get over here. Look at this guy. Look at this, look at this beast. Look at this beast over here. These guys own Fed Up Nutrition and they do protein donuts. Look at these bad boys. These are beautiful. 11 grams of protein, 8 grams of carbs, 3 grams of fat. Wait, what's that? 11 grams of protein, 8 grams of carbs, 3 grams of fat. That's insane. Yeah. Right? yeah. That's, not, that's, that's why, that's why this guy crazy. is an IFBB pro in men's, men's well, classic, classic physique, not classic. men's physique. Yeah. I honestly what do you never think, like man? how they say the challenge That's really nice. <laughs> Best thing about these, I don't have to feel guilty for eating them. I ate more than enough sushi last night in Vegas. <laughs> Most interesting expo I've ever been to here. Jake forgot his sunglasses. Small town, good people though. So I'm so excited to be here. Good people, fitness is crazy popular here in St. George. Everyone is into their fitness, whether it's outdoor, well, it's a culture, it's a fitness culture.
Afternoon, sunny St. George. We are all in black. The crew's in black right now. Back in black. We're gonna roll into the expo today. Hopefully it's a little bit busier than yesterday. We're gonna sell some gym memberships, hopefully. I'm gonna be super salesy Steve today. Hey guys, come on down. The gym's only $59 a month. <laughs> gym douche. I've always wanted to go on Ninja Warrior. Always wanted to go on Ninja Warrior, so we're doing it. Oh! Ow! I'm not America's Ninja Warrior here. This is the hard part. Yep, touch it. Reach. Boom. Got I just ate 10,000 calories. I tried burning 10,000 calories off, and I, I said if I was gonna do it all again, what I would probably do is put a backpack on and go hike for like 18 hours. Well, it just so happens this guy spent six months. What was the trail name, Cole? The Pacific Crest Trail. From Mexico to Canada. Hiked for six months. And his brother did it with him. How much weight did he lose? He lost from, he, he started out at 280 and dropped down to about like 180. So about 100 pounds hiking. In, in six months, and we're on the Snickers bars diet. So it's Snickers bars, paydays, um, any sort of candy bar. It is possible to lose weight eating Snickers bars. Now again, that's different than being able to out train a bad diet. The, di <laughs> the difference is, is they still, they weren't, they were still at a caloric deficit. Obviously, they were losing weight. They couldn't keep enough food in them because they were moving so much. So I think if I'm gonna do this burn 10,000 calories, I wanna go hike for 18 hours in one day, like wake up at 4.30, hike until midnight, and see how many calories I burn. I think that's the way to go. So, yeah. Jay, you're in trouble, man. Anytime I have to speak and it's your turn, uh, we, we, when, he, when he gets here, we're gonna give him a hard time. I went to college here in St. George, and we are moving back, doing a gym here, all based on achieving aesthetics through performance training. So for a long, you know, for a long time, I've been in the fitness industry, bodybuilding. It's been always kind of a, the pinnacle to look as good as you can. And really, for me, it's it's just been lately that I've been getting back to that athletic roots, still keeping in those bodybuilding things, but also at the same time, training for performance, training to be functional, training so you can go hike with your kids as well as still having a six pack. So that's kind of what we're gonna be doing, opening up that gym here in St. George. Give it up. They just put me on the spot. Rough they asked me to do that real quick and I'm like, what? Rough crowd. Rough crowd. <laughs> <laughs>